Okay, we're seven miles in and we went this first part with Cole and Evan. They did a really good job. Get really good pace. So we're a little bit difficult part of the course. And we're just gonna jump down to our easy pace and let Cole and Evan coast it. Alright, let's finish this up. Alright, mile eight's down. He's looking good. All right, nine miles down. I had to stop a quarter mile back because I needed to wring out my shirt. I don't want my shoes to get wet. <laughs> All right, let's go. It's Friday, and surprise, surprise, we're running again today. Today we got 13 miles easy. A lot of people ask me, how do you determine what pace you're gonna run or what kind of workout that you're gonna do during the runs? It's pretty easy. I just take a look at the week and step back and look at it from a little higher altitude. And I just follow the 80-20 rule. But it's kind of tricky because it's not about how fast we're running. It's more about where our heart rate zones are. So I know that Evan can get her heart rate up pretty quick. But on the opposite end of the spectrum, Denny Hung and I have a hard time getting our heart rate up. So her 80-20 looks a little bit different than my 80-20. And as far as what the running looks like, my running looks a lot more like 60-40 or 70-30 because of that. I could probably benefit from running outside of no man's land, but I run with a group and I coach the kids, so I don't mind a little bit of inefficiency in order to be part of the group and also the more time i spend in no man's land around that six marathon pace to easy pace range the more mental training i get i'll be a lot more mentally tough on race day because i'll be more used to that kind of feeling what it feels like to run at that pace with a bottle what it feels like to drink at that speed and what it feels like to hold that pace without looking at my watch. Don't do what I do. Ruin your Friday. Only getting four hours of sleep. Everything hurts. It's hot. My leg hurts. My arms hurt. <laughs> Be sure to get rest. <laughs> All right. It's 10 miles. Coach Alex and I were had a pretty interesting discussion this morning about how to overcome rough patches while we're running. Sometimes we see the East Africans running like super, super fast. Then they'll just put on the smile. It's definitely not because it's easy, but what they're trying to do is they're trying to trigger their brain to believe that Everything's okay. When we're happy, we think that we're happy and our brain processes that and makes a sentence that we're happy. But the emotions and the feelings of happiness do not come until after we make the physical action of smiling. <laughs> and then the hormones, the endorphins, they are released. So if you're having a rough patch and you're running, instead of grimacing and groaning, which will actually take more energy. Try to smile, see if it works. I bet you it will. I'm 
Man, Cole, you're really crushing it today. <laughs> Why do you think that it's so much easier today than other days? Uh, I think I had a better attitude in the beginning to start with. Yeah, you seem really positive in the morning at home. It's good, it's awesome. Thank you. If you have your phones on your run, don't forget to send us some video clips or photos in landscape perspective to allheartrc at gmail.com. The All Heart community is growing so fast and so strongly. Really appreciate everybody's support. You can help us out even more by sharing our YouTube channel with your friends. Thanks so much for all the love. All right, that's 12 miles down. Oh boy, that was a sweaty, easy run. Good thing everybody had their bottles. Always well hydrated. We're finishing up here, coming up on mile 13. Tomorrow will be a pressured run. Eight miles at steady state. So it's not gonna be an easy one, but we're gonna apply a little pressure and then go into the long run with strong mindset on Sunday. Thanks for joining us on this 13 miler. We had a good one. I hope you have a good one and make it meaningful, okay? We'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. All right, on tap today, Alex and I are gonna take on the Baldy 3T route. Nice loop, about 19 miles. It's roughly 8,000 feet of vert. Starting off with your moment is in here pretty early. We're uh, less than a mile up the trail from Ice House Canyon. And All right, we're about four miles into the day. Still checking up Ice House Canyon. Pass through about 7,000 feet of elevation. Here's where the three T's come from. We're gonna hit those three mountains, Timber, Telegraph, Thunder. If you're wondering why it's called Baldy 3T, now you know.